if you are new here my name is Sarah and I hope you choose to stay a while so for today's video we're gonna do something a little bit different I've seen this going around right all along in YouTube and different two youtubers that I watch uh, they're doing a fantasy cart for Sephora so I figured I would jump along that bandwagon and go along for the ride too so what we do I did was I picked out items that totaled just over a thousand dollars Canadian so it's just under a thousand dollars American my total came out to one thousand and seven dollars and fifty cents uh, I did actually have to work really hard to get it up to that price point I started this last night and I came I got it in and everything was perfect it was like thirteen dollars over and then this morning as I was prepping for this video I went in to make sure the cart stayed put where it should be and two of those items have gone out of stock so I took them out of my cart got more stuff added and I just I found I really had a hard time I don't know if that's because I just don't normally purchase a lot of makeup outside of winners and everything else I get is mostly from Ipsy and look fantastic and hopefully they are ship my box um, I have decided to start trying glossy box so through those three subscriptions just through the two that I normally have I find I get enough stuff other than maybe eyeshadow palettes to do me and do me well so I haven't really done a lot of shopping in Sephora in general the way I did it this time was I just went through the makeup and I started at the top of their list and worked my way down so I started with like eyes and then face and cheeks and so forth so I'm gonna go through my list here um, and we'll just talk about what I've added in why alright so my first product that shows up in my shopping cart is the Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour highlighter um, I chose the color stunner is $38 Canadian I have my little tiny one I got from Ipsy this is the bronzer which I love I love the smell of it which is I think why I was drawn to grabbing the Tarte one here my next product is the it cosmetics better your skin but better CC cream with 50 SPF in light medium which I have discovered is my favorite foundation I'm wearing it today and I think it looks my makes my skin look beautiful and it's not cakey it's not too heavy it's just perfect it's $52 for the full size I usually pay three dollars at Ipsy for one of these little guys and because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I don't do a full face every day these last me a good amount of time so that was that next up is an eyeshadow palette it is the Dominique Cosmetics lemonade eyeshadow palette $54 and there is two, four, six, eight, ten shades in there so that's still pretty pricey to me um, I like the colors I'm looking to try to start getting some more pastels into my repertoire so not always the more bold colors and not just browns and nudes but some more pastel I saw a youtuber do like a cotton candy look that I really really want to try but I don't have the colors for it so I think that's what drew me to the lemonade palette next one is another palette and this is $24 so absolutely doable is the violet gloss sweet violet fun size eyeshadow palette it's 24 bucks once again it's got some lighter colors but it also has some of the more bowls that I would normally wear um, so yeah this these two palettes are both pretty good to me and I think I would wear all the shades which then starts to justify the price points 24 is not bad 54 that's a little tight for me but if I'm gonna wear all the shades I think I can justify it I know this is supposed to be a fantasy glass so, though so it doesn't really matter if I can justify it or not this is someone gave me money to go to Sephora but I have to spend all of it at one go so next thing that shows up on my list is the uh, moisturizing sherbet by Clauda 
Claudia. This I had actually got a sample of in one of my top boxes, one of my first top box, and I really, really liked it. So yeah, I would definitely go ahead and purchase that full size. It is only 1.3 ounces or 40 milliliters for $48. So that's pretty pricey. And I get so many moisturizers and such through my subscriptions that I haven't really needed to purchase a new one. Like I still haven't opened that last one we got from Look Fantastic that had like the $160 price point. Like I haven't even opened this guy yet. So I definitely don't need to be spending money on moisturizers, but if I was given it, I, that would be one of the items I would purchase. And then I've got the Merad uh, Refreshing Cleanser here. It's $52. I've heard a lot of good things about Merad, so I would definitely want to give it a try. Next up, to replace my Itsy Bitsy, I do have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I love it. It's 40 bucks. My little guy, like, it's going to last me forever because, like I say, I don't do it all the time. So, yeah. Next, we have the Benefits Cosmetics Pore Pref Professional Mini Hydrating Primer. So it is 0.25 ounces, so a quarter of an ounce, and it's $18. That's crazy expensive. 18 bucks for that little bit amount. I have one here that is 0.1 fluid ounces. So this guy here, and he is three milliliters. So the $18 one would be 7.5 so I think that would do me pretty good I've got a bunch of different primers I'm using this one today and I like it so yeah I would go ahead and spend the 18 bucks next up is MAC Cosmetics Prep and Prime 24 hour extended eye base I have not been able to get my hands on an eye primer yet I usually just use my Morphe concealer so I would definitely like to try that. I've heard a lot of good things about the MAC uh, preps, so the primers. So I would definitely go ahead and try it. It is $29. Next up is a hair product. So this is the Christopher Robin Color Shield Mask. That Okay, that's not the right price. I have four of those in here. That's going to change my totals. It is $57. For a hair mask. I guess if I wanted to, I was worried about my color and I wanted to make sure it was staying fresh because I was going to the salon and doing it that way, it would definitely be worth the investment. But I don't. I do box color most of the time. Every once in a while, my husband will treat me and be like, Yeah, here, go get it done at the salon. And that will probably happen once a bit more of the restrictions left on the COVID stuff, but for now I'm happy with box color. My next product here is the Anast ABH Moonlit Glow Kit. So it is $52 at Sephora. I kick myself for not picking it up at Winners when I saw it. I've seen it for as low as I think like 15 or 20 bucks, maybe lower at Christmas time and I wish I had picked it up. Um, I didn't know if I would truly use a highlighter palette but since I've been using the Ofra highlighter I realized how to use it and I love it. I love the look that it gives so I definitely would be looking at picking that up. Next up here we have the another Claudia skincare cream. This one is Gentle buffing cream so just an exfoliator something light um, especially in the summer with the sun and stuff I don't want anything too rough on my skin so this would be a good choice it is $42 <sighs> wow I have 20 things to go through because it took me that much to make up the money one of the big prices ones is the Pat McGraw Labs Mothership Artistry Eyeshadow Palette Divine Rose too. This is beautiful. These are a lot of neutral colors, but they are just, it looks stunning. I want it. 
I will never spend $170 on an eyeshadow palette, but I would protect it with everything if I was to get it. <laughs> but no one, husband, don't. Don't do it. All right, next up, another hair product. This is the Christopher Robin Purifying Scalp Scrub with Sea Salt. Just, you know, to get in there, especially we're going to the... We're going up to visit my mom up north in a couple of weeks and we're going to be at the beach and in the lake and so forth so it'd be nice to have something just to make sure no sand and stuff you know. But anyway. Alright next up is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette. $88. Ouch. <laughs> um, I want this. I want it on sale. I will find it on sale and get it. It's once, like again, we were talking about a moment ago, the more um, cotton candy colors, pastels, lighter shades. I want to try it. And I don't have anything in my collection like that. Okay, so sticking with the Amazonian Clay and Tarte, we have a mini... 12 hour blush color subdued subdued yeah subdued um if it smells anything like the bronzer i'll just sit there sniffing it because it smells like summer and it is 18 dollars next up we have milk makeup hieroglyphic hieroglyphic stick in the color supernova i've seen some youtubers talk about it i would like to give it a try and if i have a free thousand dollars to spend at Sephora, it would be on my list. It's $37. And my last product here is Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer at $29. So in grand total, I have spent $1,000.750. 20 items, not bad. I'm not sure if that includes taxes. I think it does. But it's likely that it doesn't, and it would be even higher than that. But not bad. Like I said, that's 20 items that I picked out to get me to that $1,007. That is my fantasy Sephora cart. I am thinking that we might do a fantasy cart for Torrid. Just since I can't get into the store and try stuff on right now, give you some fashion, give you some items that I would like to try, like to wear, like to buy, that kind of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit different. Lots of me just talking at you. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Give me a comment. Would you like to see that Torrid uh, video? And if so, what kind of price limit do you think we should set? Torrid's a little bit different. $1,000 might not get me very far. So let me know what you're thinking. Uh, when you've subscribed, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications on all upcoming videos. We do have the Ipsy box coming in. We have Look Fantastic showing up hopefully sometime soon. And then we have Glossy Box. So those videos will pop up whenever I actually get them in. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.